Hey guys, so today's tutorial is going to be a day to night look featuring the brand new Electropop palette by Kevin Aquan. I'm so excited to be working with Kevin Aquan today. If you guys aren't familiar with him, he's the first first celebrity makeup artist in the 80s and 90s. He created so many makeup techniques, including contouring. He wrote three best-selling beauty books, including Making Faces, which a lot of you probably own. It's a beautiful book that I have on my coffee table. It's amazing, and it features his work and famous looks on countless supermodels, actresses, and celebrities, including Sidney Crawford, Janet Jackson, Gwyneth Paltrow, etc. Now, the Electropop Pro Eyeshadow Palette is an exclusive limited edition product and is available now only online at Sephora and it launches in store on January 19th. So it's already in store for you guys if you want to get your hands on it. The palette features 12 high impact shades for endless versatility, makeup looks, and intense one swipe payoff, which you guys will see here in this tutorial. I will insert some swatches so you guys can see the payoff for yourselves. Uh, let's get into that right here. So we're going to start first with the shade Light, and here's the shade Beam, Ultraviolet, Charge, Switch, here's Laser, Heat, love this one, Fuse, Amp, Impulse, Hardwire, and Blackout. Look at how black that is. And you can see all the swatches here. Stunning. I also want to encourage you guys to enter the Kevin Aquan Beauty Giveaway. I will leave a link for it down in my description bar for you guys. Five lucky winners will receive a set of Kevin Aquan Beauty products, which is amazing, and it ends on February 28th, 2018. So make sure to check that out. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, and let's jump in to the tutorial. So for foundation, we're going to start out with the Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX07, and we're going to mix it with a little bit of the Sensual Skin Primer, just a small amount mixed in with that primer. Do you see how cool it is to pump out? You can mix it right on the top of this tray, really, really easy to use. And then I'm going to apply it to my skin using the foundation brush, which you'll see here in a second. Um, I can create more coverage by using more of the sensual skin enhancer or a little bit less of the primer mixed in um, but this is perfect for me now i'm going to use the same sensual skin enhancer in sx02 a little bit lighter um, for concealing and i'm not mixing in with the primer this is going to give that full pigment sort of look as you see here i really really like this product it's really versatile it's great if you're a, a makeup artist to have in your kit you can use it a lot of different ways now i'm going to use the gossamer loose powder to set underneath my eyes and on my eyelids i did apply some of that um, sensual skin enhancer there as well to prime my lids and this is really nice finely milled powder that makes your skin really smooth now I am taking the matte bronzer in desert days this is a really pretty warm shade to really warm up my face because my body is sunless tanned and my face is not and now I'm using the infamous contour powder in medium. This is a really perfect shade. It's going to work for many skin tones, but they do have others. And now I'm going to be using the blush in Shador as the shade, just for a really nice natural flush. I'm going to go back into that contour powder and really start sculpting out the eyes. If you want a little bit of a warmer look, you could go ahead and go into the bronzer. But for me, I wanted something really kind of natural looking um, and a little bit on the cooler toned side. So that is why I'm starting here for you guys. And I am going to be bringing this shade on underneath my lower lashes as well and kind of winging out the shape. Now I'm going in with the shade Beam and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this 
uh, onto my lid using my finger. It's just faster, easier. It's really how I would do my makeup during the day. Uh, and then I'm going to use a little bit of the black shade blackout and just a little tiny shader brush and just very lightly apply this to my lash line just to deepen up that outer corner. Now I'm going to use the Kevin Aquan Volume Mascara. I've talked about this before to you guys on Snapchat. I really, really love it. Very volumizing. And now I'm taking the shade light and highlighting the inner corner of my eye just to make everything really bright, but nothing too harsh since it is during the daytime. Now I'm taking the flesh tone lip pencil in medium and very lightly lining my lips with this. Then I'm just going to use my finger to kind of blend everything out and keep everything nice and natural. And that is our final daytime look. Really work appropriate. Uh, you can bump it up or down depending on where you work, you know what I'm saying? And now for the nighttime look, we're going in with heat which is such a pretty shade. It's so foiled. Um, I love this one so much. I'm just using a flat shader brush to go over my lid. I'm bringing this up into the crease a little bit and kind of creating the shape that I would like. Yours may be different than mine, depending on what you prefer. And then I'm just going to use a little bit more of that contour powder and a blending brush to kind of um, blend out that crease, any harsh edges or anything like that. And now for my waterline, I'm going to go into the Precision Eye Definer Pencil in the shade Ironclad. It's just a gray shade. It's not going to be as harsh as a black. And I'm going into this bronzy shade, which is Charge. And I'm just gonna run this along my lower lash line. And now I'm going in with the Kevin Kwan Precision Liquid Liner and creating a little bit of a wing because why not? We're going out. And now I'm using the Ingenue Lashes by Kevin Aquan. These are really nice kind of natural lashes and really kind of create some natural volume. Nothing too, too dramatic. And now for lips, I'm going to take the matte lip color in Infinite and I'm just really dabbing this on my lips. My lip liner was already there from earlier, so this is just going to create a little bit more of a red punch. And this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to check out the giveaway link down below for you guys. And I'm really curious to see which Kevin Kwan products you are most excited about. Please leave me a comment down below letting me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye.